For more than 1,700 years, the compass has been helping people find their way. It was first developed in China, but when the Far East met the Far West, European sailors adopted the technology, using it to chart their own courses. To make a nautical compass, they use this device to magnetize a special metal alloy. A technician slips a retainer ring onto a jig and positions the magnet on top of it. She places an aluminum skirt over the magnet. This will support the compass dial which goes on next. She inserts a pivot needle in the center which will allow the dial to rotate. Then she press fits all the pieces together. She carefully inspects the fit and it looks solid. She sprays a chemical cleaner into the pivot cavity. It has to be spotless because any dirt would impede its function. She also cleans a little jewel post that contains a tiny sapphire. Then she fixes the jewel post in the dial. The jewel post will support the dial while allowing the pivot needle to move easily as it's pulled by magnetic forces. She places the dial on a machine that mimics the Earth's pull. It's a crucial step because magnetic force varies depending on where you are in the world. She brushes a weighted paint onto the back of the dial to counteract the pull. This balances the compass dial, preventing false readings due to differences in the planet's magnetic force. These are lubber lines, little direction markers. She inserts them into holes in a jig. Then she lines them up with holes in an aluminum gimbal pan and press fits the lubber lines to the pan. Now she inserts two pins into the gimbal ring that allow the ring to flip around the gimbal pan. Then she attaches the compass dial to the gimbal assembly. The technician spray paints the metal compass bowl black and pops a rubber diaphragm into it. A bronze ring will hold it in place. This flexible rubber liner will contain the compass fluid and allow it to expand and contract. She snaps the dial and gimbal setup to the bowl. She just has to bend a little tab to level it out. She positions an acrylic dome on top. Using another jig, she puts a rubber O-ring over the dome to seal it, followed by a metal collar. With a power screwdriver, she anchors these pieces to the rest of the compass. Then she pumps fluid into the bowl, filling it right up to the dome. The fluid makes the numbers on the dial look bigger. Next, they magnetically charge two metal rods and install them in a compass base. They'll compensate for magnetic fields on the boat. She mounts a big metal housing unit on the base. Then she attaches shock absorbers to cushion the compass against engine vibrations. She installs the compass in the housing and taps the dome to test the shocks. A decorative aluminum cover fits around the dome. Then she installs a light to allow the navigator to see at night. She attaches iron spheres, another tactic to counter magnetic interference. Our journey through the plan is now over and the compass is ready to be used.